Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Waysero and thank you for joining me. We are in the beautiful world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. And we are playing as a brave lad named Henry, the son of a blacksmith. And well, as you notice, we are not playing Europa Universalis 4 today. And the reason because is I recently got over 100 subscribers. I'm currently at 130 something now. And I just want to thank you all so very much for subscribing and watching and liking and all the nice comments. I mean, I never thought that uh, would happen at all. I just, well, I want to do some videos and, well, you were quite nice and respondis, responsive and really like it, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's really a boost for making these videos, you know. Just... Yeah, it's really a boost. When uh, there are so much, so many people that like it, what you do, and uh, say so many nice things about it. So this will be maybe 100 subscribers special, if you want to call it that. And uh, yeah, really take this episode to thank you guys. So I dedicate this video to you. <laughs> and I haven't played uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance in maybe two weeks. Or the last video I think was uh, released published in two weeks, something like that, and uh, I did stop because I was focusing on the Byzantine strategy and upload it to YouTube and well, you know, oh, well. then you guys you happened that, and <laughs> I just kept going. You really liked it, so. And uh, last time we, if you want to follow this series by the way, it's role-playing it's a role play. <laughs> it's an RPG, so it's role play and some strategy. But yeah, it's not in a, like an RTS strategy or a grand strategy like Europa, for example. It's more like handling your hunger and be very accurate with how your defense and attack works when you are in the fight with a bandit or a knight or something like that. And uh, yeah, so if you want to be a knight, play as a knight or watch me play as a knight in this glorious beautiful game, then I have a let's play of this. Just check out my channel and uh, look at uh, playlists. And you'll see that Kingdom Come Deliverance playlist. It is currently have eight, so this will be the ninth episode. And yeah, just go through and uh, see what you think about it. I really appreciate the feedback on that as well, as I have gotten so much on the Byzantine Let's Plays. So yeah, so a hey, backstory. We are Henry. Let's take away the head armor. We are the son of a blacksmith. We come from Skelets, which is way over here. Uh, we were rather close with the Sir Radzig, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was two weeks. <laughs> the local nobleman who ruled Skalitz. We were the blacksmith's apprentice, our father. And we didn't have much going in our lives. And then someday, something happened. 
And if you want to know more about that, then you shall just have to go and look at episode one of that Let's Play. And uh, do leave a comment, a like, dislike, maybe subscribe if you haven't, if you like it that much. So it will keep on popping up. So uh, the Byzantine Let's Play, that will not change, however, at all. That one will be reached daily, one episode daily, so no worries there if you subscribe just for that series. That will not come in to an end, it will be uploaded daily. And I thought this maybe once a week, and if it is more, if you guys really like it and want more of it, then maybe two, two, three times a week maybe. I do have a part-time job and uh, studying going, as well as a life outside, <laughs> outside, and girlfriend, so yeah, but at least once a week, and if it, there is more, well if you guys want to see this more often, then maybe twice, and three times a week, we shall see. But anyway, enough babbling on last time for some pick-me-up with not just for myself. We uh, travel to Ushits and we... We're on the Neuhof gang's trails who... They raided a stud form at Neuhof, so we are looking into that. So that led us to Ushits to Limpi Lubosch. And this, when we looked what happened to Limpi Lubosch, it was not pretty. That's in episode 8. And yeah, so that trail led us to yet another town we haven't come yet to. It's Ledeshko. And we need to find Riki. Well, I don't have to tell you, but that's not a good name. <laughs> so we need to travel to Ledeshko and find Riki. We also... let's put on these again. We have foods we need to handle, armors, weapons, and whatnot. I do want to apply some blacksmith's armor kit to our composite gauntlet so we get some skills in maintenance. That is at level 2 right now. And we can level up reading. And we'll take, when reading, you'll get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. We'll lead college. All books are shipping in shops because they are really expensive. So let's learn that one. And hunting, I thought about it. And antlers is the most expensive we can sell, I think, compared to tusks. So let's do that. Horsemanship, I do not know about this one though. Uh, I think that's pretty good actually, but if we are wounded, our horse will run faster, so tread steed, yeah, let's do that. And uh, drinking, no, no need to do that. Warfare, however, we really need one, so it was, yeah. Uh, blood leather. You have a greater chance of drawing your opponent's blood, so let's learn that one. When we are taking that now, then... Say this. When you draw an opponent's blood, it gives you plus one strength bonus, so that's good. And we now need skills we done. Combat. We'll do sword later. Strength. Was, who, which one was that? Your stamina regeneration, regeneration will not slow down in combat even on the weapons backswing. That's really nice, so that's we definitely want to take. Agility, what's this? No, nothing there yet. We must wait for some more ranks in that. Uh, same goes for vitality and speech. How about that? Empathetic. In dialogues you'll see 
your counterparts stats in skill sets that's really nice so you can compare and see who what options will one win over and get a success so let's learn an empathetic Uh, we are done with all the skills, yeah. We do also want to look around. Yeah, and this is Pebbles, by the way. We got him in episode 6 or 5, something like that. And ain't he cute? <laughs> Pebbles for the win. He's a grey stud. And uh, yeah. He can carry loads of uh, our inventory, like loot and whatnot, when we hunt and kill bandits and humans. So let's put on it. And uh, we want to eat something before we go to Ledechko and find Riki. Because you see. In the lower bar, there is one green, that's our horse's stamina, so when we are on Mount Pebbles, we see that goes away. And the yellow one is our stamina regen regeneration, <laughs> excuse me, I can't talk today barely. And the red above the yellow, not the ultra red the to the far right, but the one in the middle, that is our health. So if we eat now, that that was in the middle is just full now because we are no longer hungry. And so we increase our health so we can withstand attacks more longer. And all that good stuff. So which way will we be going? Or shall we pick up some uh, side quests? We can, and maybe we will, but I think we focus on Ledeshko for now, so just... Let's go to Rathai Mill, let's fast travel, so not have to go there. And then just go over the bridge and to Ledeshko, because we haven't discovered yet, so we need to ride there before. But first I need to do a quick break. And we're back. So, past the bridge. Over the river. There's a fat hog. And uh, the country, it's historical kingdom come. So it is the 1400s, some a bit, maybe 1410, 1420, something like that. And it is in Bohemia. Yeah! So it's located in uh, modern day uh, Czechoslovakia or something like that. It's near Hungary or Austria, if you know where where's that located. Just a bit above uh, Austria, actually. And that was the wrong way. So yeah, yeah, that's right, they speak Czech, so it's Czechoslovakia. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it is the uh, Charlemagne. Actually, we have some uh, we have a codex, codex in-game, so it is general locations, events, society, characters, and tutorials. So events, for example. The Western Schism, the Second Scalitz, Age of Charles IV. Yeah, that's the recently... in uh, da, 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 1348, yeah. And now we have Wenceslas the fourth. That's the current king of Bohemia. And yeah, <laughs> apparently we rode a little too far when we skipped, when we took 
a break in the inventory tab. Yeah, that's just happened a couple of times. <laughs> that's not that's not good when we are in a fight. But yeah. And uh, yeah, I will try and cut out the pieces when we are not fighting or talking to anyone. So I'll make sure to we have Duska with Ledechko. Yeah. When there is nothing happening, I will try and cut it out. Or if it's just a short interval between something is happening, then probably it'll just yeah. stay in. And now that we have discovered Ledechko, and this was. Maybe there's been a flood here some time ago, and they haven't yeah. fixed the pathways. range okay the best thing to do when you discover discovering a new town it's going to these quest tips first it's usually a quest start or a tavern or something like that so let's go in here to the tavern the lodgings it should be here somewhere we can talk to someone and find out about Riki. Maybe you. Innkeeper. That's a really good thing to ask. God be with you, good sir. What's happening around here? Yeah, let's do that. What's happening around here? That could also ah, be just well, some is. general. Now I think of it. I've not seen Kunhota here for some time. The local Some, uh, in general. She always comes here once a week for a tanker of ale. Flipper flabber and uh, gossips and whatnot. Well, nothing's happened to her, and that's not all. Like that sake has started an archery contest here. If you want to try your luck at winning a few brushing, you should go and see him. Oh, and another thing. Especially oh, at the mill, thing. not a week goes by without some ruckus there. But I'm wise to them troublemakers. Whenever they're planning some mischief, they're always huddled there in the corner, hatching their plots. Like yesterday, for instance. Okay. Well, he was not the guy to ask. So, maybe someone else? Hey! Look out! Not going, it's not much going on in the morning around the ale house, but no, that's not the space to look for Riki. So, what else can we look for? Quest giver, okay, so it's maybe it was the one with the bows. Just flew right past him apparently. Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's just the side quest of that sec. Hey. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I am not a knight, I only have a helmet on, so I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. What do you know? You mean I don't mind. He's the tanner's son, isn't he? Any idea where I could find him? Okay, so he's a tanner. Know. Try at his folks house, but he doesn't spend much time there. Well, we can talk to their pa his parents. Do you know him? Can you tell me anything about him? So you know this Hinnock? Can you tell me something about him? Not much, I confess. Most of the village folk avoid him like the plague. Why is that? Yeah, because his name no is one Riki. No one knows <laughs> like spending too much time around Tanners. And that Riki keeps bad company. I've never heard a good word said about him. What's his father like? What can you tell me about the old courier? He's as cantankerous as a hog in a thorn bush. He won't talk to anyone. Why do they call Hynek Riki? Why do they call Hynek Riki anyway? He's a tanner, isn't he? If you're ever downwind of him, you'll understand. Tanning isn't a trade for the weak of stomach. True enough. But not every courier gets cursed with a name like that. Well, Hynek's nature's no sweeter than his smell. Why has he got such a bad name? Hmm. Well, 
Like his old man, he doesn't talk much to anyone. And then he's always skulking off somewhere. I heard he got a taste of the pillory in Ratai for thieving. And in Neuhof, he got boozed up in the alehouse with his cronies, and they beat up some merchants. So a bit more than high spirits. Just so. We're all honest folk here, and we've no use for the likes of him. There must be someone who talks to Ricky. Don't tell me there's not a single person who talks to him. He's been seen around with one of the bathhouse wenches. Okay, Adela, so the parents and the bathhouse. We shall go back and uh, nothing else there. We can though talk with him about the archery range, but we'll not do that just right now. So we shall go forth, pebbles. Where are their parents then? That's the bathhouse. And that's the parents' house. So, go to A, B, I mean. And that should be him right there. What was that noise? Hello, Tana. God be with you. Riki. I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Have you ever heard of him? Sure. Why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinek. Ah. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Oh, okay. So, because we took empathetic, now we can see that every one of our options will beat him. So we had a success, whichever option we choose. So, and we want to focus on speech, right? Mm, I don't think so. Your son is about to get into deep shit. I'm trying to find him so I can warn him. That's nothing new. He's always up to his ears, isn't it? But this time his neck's on the block. He got mixed up with some very dangerous people. I have to find him. All right. Yeah, level He was speech. here a few days Ice. ago, but he left right away. He looked like, like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Phoenix makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Poacher's hideout, where's that? Do you have any clue that? at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away. I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn then. Okay, so we shall talk with the innkeeper. What more do you know? Nothing. I swear to God Almighty, I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me nothing. I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? Or as his friends. Do you at least know any friends he's with or someone he goes to see? As far as I know, nobody here in the village talks to him. I heard he's seeing some bathhouse wench. Maybe. He can't get it for free, so I suppose he has to go to the baths. Yeah. <laughs> Just ignore that part. Let's actually take away the helmet so we can see when Henry speaks. <laughs> Let's talk with the bathhouse, wenches, and the innkeeper. C is closest, so let's talk to them first. 
Is there someone special? Maybe. Maybe the proprietor or something like that. That's buff made Adela, maybe. Riki. I heard you've been seeing Hinek the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? <laughs> God, no, nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Hi. I've seen him often enough. But I don't know what I could tell you about him. Well, anything's really. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. Let's see, we can best that. I'm a friend of Hinek, so it's like he's up to something. He goes to the woods from time to time. That smells fishy to me. What do you mean? There's no law against it, is there? With all the footpads, looters, cumans, and God knows what other vermin around, it's not the sort of thing an honest man would do. But Hinek doesn't have anything to do with those people. Oh, really? Then what does he do there? I don't imagine he's gathering mushrooms. <laughs> mushrooms? No, but we are. More like hairs. That's right, again. we can gather, so folks. That's really exciting, right? Well. <laughs> never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. Yeah, the poacher's hideout. When did you see him when last? When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He keeps prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosh who died. That's right, I That he was Lubosh. regretting he ever got into it. But he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye. And then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl, and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me, and we could get married and such. All just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right, thank you. Hmm. Well, we do have a spade, so we are surely looking to that. About the money. Another thing about the money. What is it? Uh, we took that one already. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like him. But it's only because his old man is a grouch and a tanner. So you only felt sorry for him? Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Maybe Hinek thinks differently, but that's how it goes. I need and to know more hideout. about the hideout. How about that? I really don't know where it is. I only know when he came back, he usually came to see me. I see. Well... How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talked about what he caught, and he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. Do you know who he sold it to? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? 
the innkeeper, I reckon. No, yeah, the innkeeper is the one sure. that has the answers, apparently. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction. Anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp, because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood, and he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. That's something. Good. And something else. No. So end it. Okay. And, well, I'm really intrigued about that gold coin stash. Hey! So let's go back to the grouchy old tanner and look for it in his western holdings. So some there, there, maybe. No, I don't think he will mind. Western part, so maybe not the outhouse. Hopefully, <laughs> I wouldn't want to go digging through that shit just to find some coin. But maybe here somewhere, I think. That looks like a nice hiding spot for something. It's a collapsed, collapsed hut there, so let's go there. And as I said, it if this takes me a while to find, I'll just cut it to where I find it. So you don't have to watch through me. Sage, no, I don't want to get a sage. No, it was not in here. Oops, not whistle to pebbles. Maybe behind here somewhere. And actually we do need pebbles. We put the spade into pebbles inventory, so let's move that. Move to inventory. And now we can begin searching. Okay, so he was a bit sneaky, but I found it, so start digging. Let's see what we get for fun. A thousand gold, that would be nice. Or Groschen, as they say in this game. Uh, Rob, okay, so let's crouch. No one's looking, no. Groschen, 115 and sturdy gambeson. Good, steal everything. Since, you know, it was Riki and he was in the... What's it called? The uh, just jump out of this hole, Henry. Can't you do that? There you go. He was with the raid on the Neuhof stud farm. They killed lots of people and they killed lots of horses. So that is no moral dilemma there. And what I said in the beginning of uh, this hey. let's play is was that Henry will not do anything immorality like stealing if it's not necessary or if it's not to someone bad. So like this, Ricky was, was a murderer so no worries there. And uh, yeah, along those lines, I will play this. So the innkeeper is next up. I hope I can be of help to you, mate. Uh, Ricky. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. And ask someone else. They have nothing to do with Ricky. He only drives my customers away. <laughs> really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you anyway? A friend of Hinex. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. Oh, we have some stuff here. So we can pick anyone. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's do that. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. 
What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Ricky is hiding out at his poaching lair. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game for him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. Yeah, you tell them, Henry. Give me your word of honor. You won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So, what do you want to know? Uh, the hideout first. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place. A cave or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever so Ricky was going to mine, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skin that got it, so he had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry is something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. Yeah, a couple. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. And then the dialogue in the cave, I in the left bank of the Sasso River. So that's. Yeah, let's go to see them. Yeah, see. Let's also eat something so Henry stops complaining. Nourishment, let's do that. And we good to go. See. There. Now, as I said, I will cut to the point where this is something happening in the video. This game is quite long and the conversations are almost even longer. <laughs> but you know, it's a storytelling game so it's important, the conversation and whatnot. And the graphics are beautiful. So they really did a good game for Horse Studio. Oh, and we find it. Nice. So let's go. And maybe we shall find a cave only. Let's draw our weapons. Okay, so that's nothing. That was not a good option. Let's go for E. Maybe that's the closest. Yeah, E. Let's unraw our weapon. Unequip. And let's go to E. And theirs are coming right at me. This is not a time for hunt, so no matter. And here's the second pine shaft. See if that's broken as well. I think it looks like it, right? Maybe not. Oh. Looks like maybe somewhere. What did it say? Yeah. On this sand. Okay, so it was nothing there. Too bad. Our torch. The pebbles have it. 
Let's equip. Let's select on so. Um, yeah, nothing there. So we need to go all the way to that. Yeah, Sasau. Let's fast travel to Ledechko. Okay, so we need to put some stuff to pebbles. Now, fast travel. Ryan at the crossroads. So we're at B. Yeah, B. Maybe this is it. We shall see. Let's equip the torch and draw our weapon in case he tries something. Looks like someone is here. Oh, yeah. There is someone. Is that you, Ricky? I see. Damn. He won't hold up for long. Help me. Please. <clears throat> what happened at Neuhof? Who's coming for you? Rants, people. No, what a fucking mess. Why? We didn't want to kill them. No, only their... Oh, their savages. We ran, ran off. What happened to you? Ran <coughs> and his people. They found me. Where did they go? Oh. I don't. No. I'm looking for those bastards who attacked Neuhoff. Where can I find them? They've got a camp. Where? Come on, tell me. I don't know. I've never been there. So how do you know about it? Who told you? My mate. Timmy. He was there, but they, they might have got him by now. Where can I find him? He works at the windmill by Miriam, unless they've killed him already. Okay, so Meriwed. What can I do with you now? Help me, please. I'm sorry. But there's no help for you in this world. Not anymore. I, I know. Help me to the next one. Please. Okay, so we can mercy kill. What is it? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, eight groschens and some stuff. I'll take it all. And they didn't have nothing else, right? No. Was this copper or something? Or. Did they shit on the walls? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, something. Uh, more rub and apples. Yeah, we can sell that to take it all. Another save. Another bed. Nothing else. Man, he hadn't much on him, actually. Nope. Nothing. Well, um, that's that. So we need to go to Meruid. 
And that's almost at, uh, what's it called, Tomberg, I believe. Will not pick mushrooms yet. Uh, nothing else we can do, so. Something like that. Let's go on pedals. And take away the torch. Let's give this to Pebble so we're not on uh, unburden. Now we are good to go and quest log. Meroyan. Yeah, Tomberg, so we can fast travel there maybe. Or you know, we could just do like that. That's also viable. So yeah, let's go directly there. So we need to follow A. Let's take away that map marker actually. There you go. And eat something as well. Uh, now our health. Let's eat that. That's good. Now we go on to Medioth. And Young Pebbles. Good boy. Not get stuck on the bush. Oh, come on Pebbles, you could do better. You did a even, even higher hinder. That's right. You can even try for a cow next. <laughs> Let's see if Timmy is available to have a chat with. I mean, they almost took Ginger. But we saved him from some bandits that were also coming for him to silence. Like they did with Lubosh and Riki now. So hopefully Timmy is alive. Now we shall check after Timmy. Yeah. So maybe you know something. Mirka, yeah, probably. I'm looking for a colossus by the name of Timmy. I heard he works here. I don't know anyone like that. Come on, Mikra, you know better than that. Can we do speech? It says 9-9, nine, nine, so maybe not. Same goes for charisma, so... Let's try speech. Oh, actually, Sir Hanush. I'm here in the service of Sir Hanush. Sir Hanush? Yeah, Jesus okay. Christ! It must be serious. All right, but not here. We'll talk round the back, behind the mill. Maybe that's Timmy. Not the deer, though. <laughs> or was it a dog? Yeah, sorry, it was a dog. Mikra and I going behind the windmill. We are not going to do anything but talk and get flown up by this windmill. Almost. Nice time. And let's jump. Almost. Let's jump right before. Oh, too close. And now. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, what do you got to say? Here I am. So. Why all the secrecy? Yeah, what why do Mikra? you want from Timmy? Can you tell me where to find him? Promise me nothing will happen to him. I why can't you promise you that. He's my brother. He's not very smart, you see. And he's always getting led astray by his no good friends. And now there's some right peculiar characters looking for him. Who are they? I don't know. But they look like cutthroats. And they said some strange things. But I didn't tell them anything. That's good. But sooner or later they'll find him anyway. Tell me where he is and I'll take care of him. 
know a cutscene. He's hiding at the Colburn farm over by Merhoyed. Oh, okay. Now we got stuff happening. Henry, I do not like your odds. I've got the feeling you're looking for someone here. I'm looking for someone too. Maybe we could help each other. Hmm. And who are you looking for? A great big ox by the name of Timmy. I'm afraid I don't know anything about him. That's a shame. A crying shame. I take good care of people who help me. Now, if someone were to tell me where to find Timmy, I might offer that man a job. We could use a smart fellow like that at the camp. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the speech. I hear he's hiding in Ratai. Oh, yeah? Where in Ratai? He's at the butchers. They're his kin. Well, excuse me if I take that with a grain of salt. I'll just leave Radan here to keep an eye on you. For your own protection. Well, you know. one dude I come can handle. Come with us if you've got the stomach for it. If not, come and find us in the Samapesh Tavern when it's all over. Or we'll find you. Come on, boys! Get Timmy to tell you where the other bandits are hiding. Well... Should we do something then with... Rad on it over here. Let's talk. Don't fucking annoy me. Okay, I can't talk with you. So let's wait for them to what go quite a bit further, and then we we'll just have some fun with Radon. That's right, boys. Go to Rat Eye. Yeah, now oh, they're gone. Good. Can he accompany us? I don't know. Maybe. Let's try and run. Is there a penalty for maybe killing him or something? Yeah, the bandits went to Ratai and we are going to Miruel. <laughs> Let's go there with pebbles. I don't know, do we take care of Radon or what? Need to go to A. So maybe we go out here and just... Now, I don't know what happens if we kill him. Hey! Maybe we can't okay. kill him. <laughs> folk these days. Yeah, folk these days. <laughs> So let's do a savior snap. Uh, apply. Game save. Good. So we have a savior snap. Good. Now we can try and have some fun. Let's equip the shield as well. Oh, okay, so he didn't like that. Are you gonna cry now? No, but you are. Let's That's focus on him. Oh, what happened there? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Some Matrix shit going on. That's right. And you surrendered. Let's talk. Having paid to be released, continue combat. No, you know, continue Stop combat. That's right. Stop whining. <laughs> 
There you go, warfare. Level up. And loot. We got some stuff on him. Good. Uh, let's take the sword. Pebbles, just move. Thank you. Okay, let's do it like that. Then. Now let's take the sword. A sea axe. And no one knows what happened to Radon after that. And go to A. And I don't think that should be in any penalties for doing like that, since they were the bandits that was trying to shut up Timmy. At least I think. Maybe they weren't. Maybe I did a huge mistake here. We shall know. That's the fun part of Kingdom Come, you know. It's a low, lots of, uh, well, lots of options you can do for completing a quest, and uh, lots of failures that happens if you do one thing or another. We uh, we are here, I believe. Maybe you're Timmy? Yeah, Timmy, let's talk. Hey, Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. Huh? Oh, shit. What do you want? It wasn't me. I didn't... I mean... Shit. Yeah. I saw what you did at Neuhoff. What are you talking about? You weren't there. Uh, I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Limpy Lubosh and Riki. I heard all about it. What do you want from me? Your mate Hinnok told me about a whole camp full of those horse hunts. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. You might be one of them. Pretending to not be one of them. Oh my god. Trying to catch me out. <laughs> it's not the fastest nothing. horse in the stables. Uh, nope. Do, 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 do. Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man. They crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujit. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't know where their camp is. That's a load of horse shit. Hinek told me you were there, and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with uh, trees and stuff. Yeah, man. Oh, there was some man. wrecked houses there and Timmy, all. Timmy, you are really, really woods. dumb. A, a church. There was a church there. Some kind progress. Good. One, Keep though. thinking. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. Do you remember which way you went? It was straight north from Townberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there round some barns, I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house. Only abandoned. Yeah. Go to the only left abandoned. there and carry <laughs> on until you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? Uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path and you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promised. 
Oh no, bugger! I meant to make you promise, <laughs> but I forgot. Ah, <sighs> yeah, so I that's Timmy. You took part in that massacre, Timmy. People got killed and the farm you was burned down. You can't be this time. You can't expect Dumb to get away with it just like that. Away with. Come and meet the Ratai. <laughs> They'll know what to do with you there. No, no. I, I won't go anywhere with you. They'd hang me. What do you expect? That you can join a gang of robbers to go thieving, murdering and burning and nothing will happen to you? Come with me and at least you'll die like an honest Christian. Never. You might as well kill me here and now. God will punish you. Well, the Lord sees you, so who am I to judge you? Your sins will come back to haunt you yet. Yeah, sure. You know what? No. Let's do this, Timmy. Right here, right now. Come on. Okay, so I can own pickpocket then. Hey. Damn. <sighs> Let's do this. What the hell? What? What the hell? Are you... Hey. Hey. Jesus, look where you're going. Okay. Then. So maybe because I didn't do it in the options, maybe it's uh, locked for it. So we report the location to Sir Razik. All right, let's do that. We yeah, haven't talked with him for a while, our liege lord. That we are trying to get get to be a uh, scribe for him. That's really interesting. We have made some good progress actually with that. I mean, we were a apprentice blacksmith, and now we are almost a scribe on the Seratic himself. And there you are, sir. Henry, I'm glad you came. Yeah, me too. Let's talk with you. Greetings. What business have you? The bandits encampment. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Talmberg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. Whoa, three on the groceries. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. I don't want to lose you. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. You'll be our eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go, and get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. No, we want to talk with you. Greetings. What do you need? Uh, I've been to Ushitz. And the Sir, parish I've been to Ushitz, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair's becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them. A crony of Limpy Lubosh's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this reeky fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This reeky fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosch, and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. 
Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sakra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. And that is all I believe. So, we need to go to north of Tomberg. That is not that far away. That's the herb woman's camp. Uh, not much else. So, can we sleep here for the night maybe? I think so. So yeah, this wasn't too exciting this episode, but you know, it's a lot of storytelling and if that's hard for you and do not like that, then yeah, everyone's different. This really appeals to me, however, it's a quite fun journey to make. I love a good storytelling game and that's why I'm playing it. And as I said in the start, this was for the 100 subscribers special. So yeah, I really just wanted to thank you all for subscribing and being such nice of a community towards me and this channel. That really makes me feel good about this. And I really appreciate it guys. I really mean it. It's many, many, many thanks for your subscribing and commenting and liking the videos and especially watching it. That's really nice to see. So yeah, if you do want more of this, make sure to comment, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and say that that you want it more to see this more or just give it a like that will also show me that it's that is in that it is a need for this series but I will do it this at least once weekly and if there is enough to like and say that you want more of it then maybe two three times a week and as I said, the Byzantine Let's Play of EU4 will continue daily, once, one episode a day. So next time we will uh, track the bandits and we shall see what happens. Maybe that we'll join up with Sarazig and become a full scribe or knight or soldier, something like that. So me and Pebbles are saying thank you for over 100 subscribers ain't that right pebbles yes that's right you're a good boy don't you yes you are a good boy look at his cute ears <laughs> so hopefully you like this and i want to thank you all for watching and subscribing i am waystro and i'll see you in the next episode this video is dedicated to all you guys Thank you so much, and Pebble says thank you as well. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support me by giving a like, comment, share and subscribe along with clicking the notification bell to get all the latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it. I am Waysero and I'll see you next time.